Okay. So reason for this video, I've gotten a lot of questions on how I do DEMs and how that process has changed. There's been lots of tutorials on YouTube and whatnot over the years. Um, to be honest, this process has gotten a lot quicker and simpler with the help of ChatGPT and some other scripting tools available. Uh, you know, Kim paint to farm had a great tutorial on getting one meter DEM resolutions, and this is expanding upon that to simplify that process a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet to keep the total video as short as possible. Um, but you, you might have to go back and fill in some of the gaps with some details yourself, which will be available other places. But this is how I do it. So first things first, you got to know exactly the location you want. And I use Google Earth. I put Google Maps in there, but it's Google Earth that I use. And you can fly around, uh, find a general area you want, um, mark that out. And typically, if you're not quite sure, I, I made this box and you can pick a point on the map, like put a little pin there. And then you can use, I'll show you this script, uh, ChatGPT built it for me, but just a little map calculator through Python to get the exact size of that box. So. This is that script. I got the exact GPS coordinates for my top left corner. So this corner right here, type those in there. My bounding box, which is my map size. So I'm gonna do a four X for you all here. So 4096. And then all I do, run my command line, run the script and there it, it's my top left and my bottom right corners. So I can copy these. Uh, you may have to convert them into degrees, copy them into your location here, and that will give you a perfectly sized 4X box to start with. Why those points are also important, I, would, I didn't write those down, but uh, write those down because when you go to find your TIFF files, you want to know where you're looking. So uh, this website here, it's also linked in my instructions, but this is where you can go and I believe if I zoom out, yeah, so all the orange is one meter resolution. So that's the best of the best. So lots of the country is covered with one meter resolutions which is a good thing. That's that's gonna lead to really highly accurate DEMs. But uh, one thing I do, I go up here, I enter my coordinates. I already did it. You gotta be careful with all the decimals and the copy pasting stuff, but enter it in there and it will create this box here. Then I only select my one meter DEM under elevation products, search products. Now it will show what files have me covered. So for this example, I've got four actually. So one here, you see it covers the left side of that box. There's two of them actually. And if you look as to why they're incomplete and that's perfectly fine. Um, so we'll download both of these. Just click download TIF or TIFF, whatever that's called, GeoTIFF files. Uh, so that covers the left half. And honestly, just this one, for this example, I only need three files right here and I'll have DEM data for my entire map. Now I've already downloaded these, so I'm not going to wait for these to download, but what I do from there, copy these into, I have a TIFFs folder with all my files. They'll show white in here and that's okay. But this is where the script is going to look for all the data. So I've downloaded my TIFFs, I've put them into the folder. Now I just need to run this DEM script. So for that, I'm done with that. Now for this, for some of the tools that this script uses, I had to use Anaconda rather than just the regular command prompt. But all I do, py, DEM generator dot PY. And that's going to reference this script here that's been built. And what it'll do, it's going to ask for the top left 
longitude, which I'll copy it from here. It is minus that. That's my top left corner. Top left latitude. It's going to be this value. Again, that's that's what I calculated earlier. So I'm speeding through some of this. But side length of the square, well, that's my map size. So 4096 because it's a 4x map or a 4 kilometer by 4 kilometer. And then what do I want my DEM size to be? If you're doing bigger maps like a 16x, 64, whatever the case, um, Giants Editor, I haven't found a way to make Giants Editor work with anything bigger than a 4096. So that's kind of the max is 4096 here. If you're going smaller, of course, you can do that. But uh, 4096 and 4096 will work perfect. And then I'll get a one-to-one -one DEM versus map size ratio. So that's the highest resolution with that one meter DEM. Then I hit enter and I'm just gonna let this thing do its thing. And it's gonna process all the TIFFs. Now I have like 10 TIFFs in here. So I should have taken some of those out. It's gonna take a minute because it's processing all 10 of them first. Because these are location based. So it's gonna merge all these together, find out the exact coordinates, merge them all together into one large file then it's going to take my GPS coordinates and trim them down. You see it's building this merged TIFF file. And 10 out of 10. So we're just about done there. After I hit enter on this script, it's just going to go to town and you can probably go back in the video and start the timer when this script started. So for a 4x DEM, how long this is actually taking. But it's going to process all this data. It's going to give me my max and min values. That's important for your uh, for your setting in GE, what your maximum and minimum height is to make this accurate to real life. And it's done. So stop the timer. And there I have a full 4096 by 4096 DEM. And you can see there's some cool features in here that are shown with the details, some, some washes, some rivers, there's a farmyard. You can even see the roads in this DEM. That's how good these one meter DEMs actually are. You can see farm entrances and washouts, things like this. So wish I would have known about all this and done it this way when I first started my mapping up. Uh, project, but I guess that's learning and growing. So there's our fully accurate DEM done in just a few minutes, really. Okay, so if you want, after you've got the DEM and you want, like say I want this actual image uh, to be able to start drawing and, and painting and textures and stuff on the map, I, I really like doing that. Well, Kim has this great script for image downloading for farming simulator and this is really easy if you've already got your gps coordinates so it's a long line to input and you'll you can read all the instructions how to put this all together but once you've got this i always put it in a notepad so i can edit it i can copy this in python we're going to run download tiles.py here is my origin point The size is 4096, zoom level 18. This goes all the way up to 20. I'm just gonna do 18 for this demo. But you can get really, really high quality images from this. So the example would be, if you zoom way into Google Earth, you can see there's a lot of detail there. Well, what it does, the more you zoom all the way up to 20, it'll take a picture here, take a picture here, and it'll stitch those all together instead of trying to take a picture from way back here. So much higher quality. Then I already copied it, so I'll just paste it in. And it's going to build this image. It did 1300 pictures and stitched them all together and 
no time. And my command window stalled, but this might already be done. Yep, there we go. So exact same spot as the DEM. You see it matches right up with my bounding box, but it's actually higher quality. And this was only going to resolution of 18. And you see I've got a 9162 by 9. So that's a really big image compared to my DEM. I'd still have to resize this to fit over my DEM properly but gives you lots and lots of detail to go in and mark out where you want sheds, where grass, where trees are, that sort of thing. Because I use paint.net a lot for this. So that's my video. Let me know what questions you have, but this is my process. Um, some of the code I'm, I'm sharing right there with you guys. And, and a lot of this, honestly, I've taken from just Kim and his processes to get high resolution DEMs.